Cool, so we're here at uh, Linaro Connect, and uh, who are you? My name is Ahmed, I work for the Linaro Android team. Linaro Android team? Yeah. And you? Yeah, I'm Abhishek, I'm working for a selection and I'm a, I'm a signee to Linaro. So, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, most of the work which we do is aligned towards our member companies. They want us to do uh, platform enablement, so we do that. Uh, we do feature enablement for them, we do optimizations. Uh, as, uh, as you know, that uh, Linaro mainly work towards platform enablement as well as towards upstreaming. So we find bugs in AOSP, we try to fix them, we send patches upstream. Uh, we, I mean, uh, for the Android team, what we do is we mainly to work towards feature enablement. Uh, that's our main uh, area where we work, where we are, uh, you know, where our, our, our main goal is to work towards feature enablement. Do you work together? Yeah. yeah. So, I'm part of the QS services team and uh, the main, main objective here is to report issues on uh, what all boards we have and uh, mostly on Android and Ubuntu releases and then uh, support for uh, the monthly releases which get released from uh, Linaro and which, which is available for uh, anyone to use on uh, all the supported member boards. So, uh, how many people do you think in the world two years from now are going to use soft uh, software you fixed or programmed? It depends on how many patches Google accepts from us. Because most of the time when we, ex when we push some patches, so it's like a general process, right? That's how maintenance behave. They figure out that, okay, this is something which is good, this is something which we should take, this is something which, is, which uh, has a scope of improvement. So, we have some code which has already been upstream. We push toolchain uh, modifications. We, I mean, if you are aware of our, the toolchain group, so we have pushed 4.6 patches to AOSP, which is still in 4.4. AOSP still uses 4.4 GCC. 4.6, what do you mean? 4.6 yes. GCC. We use GCC 4.6. Uh, our, if you track our builds, then we are on GCC 4.8. So we are on tip most of the time. You are on the tip? And tip uh, of, yes, uh, the software which we use. Be it the kernel, be it the AOSP or be it toolchain. So does Google basically take code in, in Android, from uh, the whole industry? Or how does it work? Yeah. So sometimes or not so much? Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Sometimes, yes. And it depends on actually your patch and the area where you are focusing. So what we have learned from our experiences is that if your patch is something which is, you know, targeting a very s small problem and your code is very crystal clear and it is not touching almost you know, all the Google concern areas, then yes, they do take our patches. If you are touching a whole lot of files and other such things, then they, yes, they tend to... What do they do? They say, hey, let's look at this, or what do they do? They wait with using it, or they just don't use it and forget about it? What do they do? All of it. Yeah, it <laughs> All depends. Of it? All of it depends on your patch. Do, do, you, have, do, you, do you trigger uh, changes at Google? Like, do you trigger them? Suddenly they start working on something thanks to you? I'm not aware of any such instances. No. Maybe something in the... Uh, I told you about our GCC instances, right? That is something which we pushed, and we got positive feedback on that. Similarly, we have pushed a few patches, uh, multimedia related patches, which are under consideration. So, we do have some... So, how does it work? Uh, Google releases new version of Android, and then uh, it's on the android.com website. Yeah and uh, people can start patching it after that if they find some things this, they should be improved yeah so there's um, a there's a process involved with uh, how how you push your pro, uh, all your patches and uh, then again it depends on the priorities and uh, the bandwidth of google how because it's it's not public or uh, uh, how how they accept the patches but the the best way what you can do is you can always push your patches but what you can do is have linaro android Yes. Did you have a website? Yes. Most of the time, our goal is that if you are not into AOSP, right? Because there are certain boards like Origin Board and Snowball Board, 
which people use this, but if you see officially, AOSP supports only Panda board. Right? So we are kind of upstream for origin board and slow board. Yes. Right? Yes. So we were supporting IMX as well, so we have IMX builds as well. So for the time being, we are like upstream for them. If you need anything which is latest and greatest for IMX, Snowball, Origin, then yeah. Linux is the place. Are you upstream for CyanogenMod? No. no. Not really? No. no. You say no, no. No, 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 not really. No. I mean, no. we, we are not doing it, but uh, I last met one guy from CyanogenMod. Uh, he told me that he, they, does, uh, they do track uh, Linux and drive, especially for uh, Noa Thor platform, K9500. He told me that since it's a new platform and uh, Linaro Android has no, it's been working on it. So they were looking for very positive on that. That they will take some Android patches, kernel patches at least. So what are you looking forward to? Next weeks, next months? What do you have? Some like do you know it's going to be awesome? Something's happening? Or what? yeah. So uh, uh, one of the goals is to uh, enable all the hardware platforms which we have. Uh, like say we have a Snowball from a Ericsson and. Uh, Origin and Panda board from uh, TI, so we are always looking to make them fully enabled for uh, uh, the developers to use and uh, uh, use it any way what they want. And uh, we have uh, built from uh, Android builds running on them. We have Ubuntu release running on them, and we want to make them more stable and uh, more feature enabled. So that's the one of our goals. From platform point, we are eagerly waiting for Big Little. We yeah, are waiting for a platform which has this big, well, big little platform enabled. Because so far, we have worked on only on emulators. We have worked on fast models. We know how it works. We know how it's going to behave. But we are waiting for a hardware to come out with big little feature. So that we can actually run Android or Ubuntu on that. Is it possible to say that the uh, Inamo Android is better than the Google Android? Or is not, that's not hard to say? Uh, In some sense, it makes us... You can say that because... Uh, like today we had a demo of uh, the tool chains which uh, uses the Lenaro tool chains and uh, which gives a better performance if you compare it with the AOSP uh, versions of the tool chains. But, so, uh, no, I, so I would like it, to it's, differ it's, on that because uh, we take stuff from them, right? So we optimize it as per our boards and as per, as per our builds. So uh, I think it will be fairly... Uh, you, you can't say it's you yes can't or say no, yet, but We are not uh, best, we are, we are not the... You know, that guys, but we do improve a lot, and they are the original uh, people. They, they are the people who originally wrote that code. So we just take that code and try to optimize it for our platforms. So it's like they have a goal in mind. We have a goal in mind. So we are not aligned to a single goal, right? So they want to optimize that code or write that code for generic platforms, so that even if you take ARM v5, ARM v6, v7, it works fine. For us, it's like everything is now ARM. Um, uh, V7 onwards, so it's like that. What do you think is going to happen with Android in the future? What would you do if you were the boss of Android? I would try it on my desktop. desktop? And yes, I've heard. Actually, I have tried Android. But there's a group called Android X86. So they used to release builds for desktops or laptops. Uh, I ran one of it, uh, one of the releases, and it worked pretty well. So, what I'm looking forward is that at least I'm 5.0 to have a laptop build. Laptop mode? Yes. Laptop mode is going to be awesome. And yes. uh, what I feel is uh, I just want one device which controls everything. And uh, you have a TV which uh, runs on Android operating system. You have a mobile which runs on Android operating system. You have home, home automation as well. So, you just need convergence and it needs to be well integrated so that you have a, a good solution for you, for the digital convergence in the future. Are you having fun? A lot. It's awesome? Yeah. Cool.